All right, in this video, we're discussing section 9-5 on dilations, um, especially dilations that are in the coordinate plane. Um, we'll also talk a lot about scale factors. All right, here's an example of a dilation. <clears throat> um, PQR, triangle PQR is the pre-image, and it's being dilated with center C. Okay, now I can adjust the scale factor. And if the scale factor is about 2, then every, um, then the image, all the lengths in the image are twice as long as the corresponding lengths in the pre-image. If the scale factor was 3, then all the lengths in the image are three times the length in the, the corresponding lengths in the pre-image. Okay, also if it was smaller, like 0.5, um, then all the lengths in the image would be half as long as the corresponding lengths in the pre-image. Okay. Um, now it could get really large or really small. Um, <clears throat> now, our book doesn't go into it, but it's possible that your scale factor could even be negative, and it flips around and changes orientation. Okay, um, but we'll, we won't get into that. Okay, another important thing to point out is um, if I took the length CP, I measured this length, and I multiplied it by the scale factor, I would get this length, which is actually how you would do it by hand. Okay, I would take CP, multiply by our scale factor, and I would get the length of CP prime. So CP prime is equal to N times CP. Okay, so my, if I take my pre-image length and multiply it by the scale factor, I get the length um, to the image. Okay, the same is true if I took this length, and multiplied it by the scale factor, I would get this length. So CR prime is equal to N times CR. Okay? It is also true that, for example, the length QR, any length in the pre-image, that length times the scale factor would be the corresponding length in the image. So in this case, Q prime R prime is equal to N times QR. Okay? Now this is only about lengths. The areas have a different ratio, which we'll look at later on in the year. Um, but the lengths, any length in the pre-image multiplied by the scale factor will give you the corresponding length in the image. <clears throat> okay, the book um, defines a dilation this way. Um, a dilation with center C and a scale factor of N, N being bigger than zero, again we're not looking at negative scale factors, um, is a transformation with these two properties. One, the image of C is itself, so if you're dilating point C, the center, um, its image will be the same as itself, so C prime is equal to C. For any other point, for example R, R prime is on ray um, CR, and CR prime is equal to N times CR. We just looked at several examples of this formula. Okay, another way of rearranging that, if you divided both sides by CR, you get that N is equal to CR prime over CR. Okay, we will come back in a second and look at this formula and it'll be very useful to us if you wanted to find N. Okay, um, also point out that the image of a dilation is similar, mathematically similar, to its pre-image. Okay, now looking at that same formula, n is equal to CR prime over CR, or in more general terms, um, n is equal to an image length divided by a pre-image length. Okay, just so you understand that idea, um, I've given two examples. Um, here the, the blue figure has primes on it, so that must be in the image, and the black figure um, doesn't have primes, so that must be the pre-image. Okay, so the scale factor is equal to the image length. Now, the only length I know in the image is 4, okay? And the corresponding length in the pre-image is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so the scale factor is 2, which makes sense because if you take in the pre-image 2, multiply it by 2, you get 4, okay? Um, <clears throat> in this one, the again, the blue is the image and the black is the pre-image. So the scale factor is equal to the image length 
divided by the corresponding pre-image length, which is 8, which 2 eighths simplifies to be 1 fourth. Okay? So if you take the length in the pre-image, 8, and multiply by 1 fourth, you get the length in the image, which is 2. Okay? I will also point out that the first example, this one, it's an enlargement. It's getting larger. And the second one, it's a, called a reduction. It's getting smaller. Okay? And that corresponds with the scale factor. If the scale factor is larger than 1, um, it'll be an enlargement. If the scale factor is between 0 and 1, it'll be a reduction. Okay, um, the blue figure um, is a dilation image of the black figure, and the labeled point is the center of dilation. Tell whether the dilation is an enlargement or a reduction, and then find the scale factor of the dilation. Okay, number one, um, again, the blue image is, the blue is the image, and the black is the pre-image. So it looks to me like this length is 4, and this length is 8. It's not labeled super clearly, but that's kind of what I'll think of it as. Um, now, the length in the image will be 12, since it's 8 plus 4. And the corresponding length in the pre-image is 4. And so 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay? Um, number 2, the length in the image is 12. Okay? And the corresponding length in the pre-image is 8, so n must be equal to 12 over 8, okay? which that simplifies to be 1.5. Okay? Whatever it is, it's equal to the, um, the image length divided by the pre-image length, and that would give you the scale factor. Now, dilations in the coordinate plane. Um, now, in this class, we will only look at dilations with a center of 0, 0. Okay? And the scale factor we'll call n. Now, we talked about a little bit ago that whatever this length is, if I multiply it by n, I get this length, okay? Now, if we look at that specifically in the x direction, then this length is x, and it turns out that this length here is n times x, okay? And this length here is y, okay? And if I multiply by n... I get n times y, okay? <clears throat> so if I take any point, x, y, and I dilate it um, with a scale factor of n, I will get um, that p prime is nx times ny. Pretty simple formula, um, but I hope it makes sense. Okay, so if a dilation has center 0, 0, which they all will in this class, to find the image of each point for the given scale factor. Now I just multiply each coordinate x and y by the scale factor. So d prime will be equal to 1 times 2, which is 2, and negative 5 times 2, which is negative 10. Okay, number 2, t prime will be 0 times 1 third, which is 0, and 6 times 1 third, which is 2. And 3, m prime, 0 times 10 is 0, and 0 times 10 is 0, so it's 0, 0. All right, now let's actually do it um, on the coordinate plane. Now I will take each coordinate and multiply by the scale factor. We're using a scale factor right now of 3. Okay, so z is the point negative 3, 1. I will multiply each coordinate by the scale factor. So z prime will be equal to negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, and 1 times 3, which is 3. So z prime is equal to negative 9, 3. So if I graph that point, it's right here. This is z prime. Okay, let's do p next. p prime will be equal to 3 times the scale factor, which is 3, and I get 9, and 0 times 3 is 0, so p prime must be 3, 0. <clears throat> it's p prime. All right, g is 0, negative 2. If I multiply each coordinate by the scale factor of 3, g prime is 0, and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So I graph the point 0, negative 6, and that is g prime. All right, now if I connect these, I will get... Um, the image under the dilation with a scale factor of 3. Okay, so that's 
discussion on dilations. Um, hopefully you understand at least what a dilation is, um, and also especially in the coordinate plane. Hopefully you understand what a scale factor is and how that relates in a dilation, um, and also enlarging and reducing. And I'm hoping that you can um, find the scale factor pre-image length or image length when you're given the other two, and I hope that by now you can dilate an image in the coordinate plane.